Brian Sykes. I live in Charlotte and uh, happy to have be at an art show in Charlotte. This is my latest one. This is a decorative teapot. It has a little uh, spout there and a handle and it's where you would put the tea in. And I call it Get Off My Back Teapot. And, uh, and it's carved out of one piece of Buckeye Burl, as were all four pieces were carved out of the same piece of wood. My, my new wall art, which is contemporary, it's uh, different American and Australian burls uh, mounted on a board, concave and convex, alternating. Mm -hmm. This is segmented turning, and specifically it's slant laminated segmented turning, uh, along with the uh, piece in the alcove over here. My name is Amity Dewey. I'm here at the Charlotte Fine Arts Festival. I'm a painter. I paint acrylic on canvas and I find my inspiration in nature. Most of my subjects are objects from the natural world, animals, trees, landscapes. My work has been described as surreal or whimsical, even peaceful. And you can look for my work on the web at amitydewey.com and on Facebook. Check it out and enjoy. Bennett from Winston-Salem via Alaska. My wife Veronica and I do this work. Uh, been, they we're going on our 30th year. Uh, started out as regular stained glass and evolved over time in Alaska where we used a lot of found objects because it was a long way to the glass store. Um, now we use a lot of fossils and a lot of stones and crystals and bones and and our own blown glass. I blow glass, do lamp working, and we use those pieces. The eyeballs and the bugs are an example. Veronica, this is her vision. She started this work and this, this business 30 years ago, and everything you see is, except for the blown glass, is really from her mind and from from her creativity. It's about our lives and, and how we've lived our lives and been real, real uh, lived in the wilderness uh, for 20 years, raised our kids there. You find more beauty in the small things in life when you do that and I think that's much of what we want to show is the, the beauty in the small things in life. And to honor old things that were practical and functional but were made by artisans and by heart and they weren't stamped out by machines and those things need to be saved and remembered, so we put those things into our work. They're mostly from the late 19th, early 20th, early 20th century, and um, they speak to us, and so those are the kind of things that are in our work. We do real three-dimensional pieces, like the bugs and the incarnations, which are a uh, lot less glass, more of the, the found objects and, and blown things, and just stuff we like to use, as opposed to the glass panels, which is more glass and less of those other things. The incarnations are, were inspired by 9-11 and we were far away in Alaska and have family in New York. My wife Veronica is from Brooklyn and we, we have family in Manhattan and around New York. And when 9-11 happened, we were cut off from them. We decided we wanted to make angels and warriors and protectors for ourselves for the future. <laughs> And that's how they started, and they have evolved and become a little more whimsical and lighthearted over the years. The piece in the back corner, it's called Photographic Memory. It has a, a, an old uh, photographic lens from an old Kodak camera in Rochester, New York, and, and some keepsakes within it. But it's, a, it's all about how the old cameras are gone, the silver film is gone, it's all digital now, and, which is great, but it's nice to let kids see what used to be beautiful works of art that were instruments of art and uh, so we like to honor those in, in pieces. My name is Ron Malott. I'm uh, from Bloomington, Indiana. I'm a nature and landscape photographer. Shoot medium and large format film. So the images you see here on the walls, these are all shot medium and large format film, sort of old style. Um, the images, the colors that you see come from long time exposure. So I typically shoot one to eight seconds of exposure. So the colors aren't altered. It's the interaction of light and film. And these are kind of from all over. I shoot from uh, this, this is, uh, New Hampshire, Michigan, Indiana. These are blueberry fields from uh, up in Maine, a waterfall from down in Oregon, aspens from Colorado. Uh, it's been my passion for about 24 years, uh, doing it professionally. 
Um, so I've been uh, published Audubon Sierra Club, uh, works in a lot of different collections, and it's my full-time passion. This is what I love doing. I'm a metal worker and I'm from Durham, North Carolina, and I've been working metal since I was 20 years old. I'm 52 now, and i um, been creating art, um, I don't know, for uh, 27 years. been self-employed that long. Um, as far as shows, this is our third retail show. We've actually been doing the wholesale market for, oh, 14 years now, and um, we find that it, uh, it's been a great show for us. We've sold um, gigantic um, tree sculpture out of metal, and uh, we're able to deliver it this morning, and sold uh, benches, uh, dragonfly bench, and a couple of chairs and a table, and quite a bit of product. So. We're looking mighty thin here in our booth at the, the end of the show. My name is uh, Frederic Payet and I'm French. I've been in the United States for about 22 years and I live in Atlanta, Georgia. My work is, uh, as you can see, it's uh, all done with a palette knife and it's a uh, impressionistic work. And uh, it's a mix of uh, plaster and acrylic. All the scenes that you see are mostly uh, painted in France in south of France and also in the west coast of the United States, in Colorado. So uh, I came to uh, Charlotte to do the show and it uh, was uh, extremely successful. We are Linda and Alan Sloan from Rock Hill, South Carolina. Our company is called Copper Creations. We take sheets of copper, do repose, which is pushing from the back. We patina the front, sand the raised area, it's mounted on wood, and then we faux finish the wood with the beautiful colors in the patina. We have been doing art shows um, for about three years full time. This is uh, the Charlotte Fine Art Show uh, by Paragon Events. Um, it's a great venue in Symphony Park in South Park, Charlotte, North Carolina. And we've been here for two days, it's been a great show.